141 here in the Pocono Mountain region of Pennsylvania. We're just outside of the Lehigh Gorge and we're going to be headed to an overlook called Tank Hollow Overlook. It's late fall, we're in the last weekend of October and I was hoping there would be some more leaves on the trees but it looks like we're in that transitional phase now between fall and winter. But let's see what today's hike has to offer. Let's go for an adventure, guys. Let's hit that trail. Gator out. As you can see, the trail is very wide. It's very obvious. It's not actually blazed, but there's no need for blazing. Well, what a difference a week can make. Last week I was at Cohen's Gap State Park and everything was bursting with color. Oranges and yellows and reds. But this is kind of kind of uh, sad a little, kind of depressing a little bit. Seeing everything uh, turn to a brown and, and gray now. But it's the cycle of the seasons. We're definitely approaching close to the overlook. Uh, she'll be coming up shortly as we're making our way through this pocket of rhododendron and mountain laurel. I'm just hanging out here at the overlook with my warm cup of coffee and uh, just wanted to take take this time to say thank you to everyone who's watched my videos and who's uh, subscribed and uh, it really gives me the inspiration to keep coming out and making more videos and I enjoy showing all these beautiful locations and sharing them with everyone out there so Thanks for that. All right, so I had read somewhere that there was a trail, a side trail that will take you down to the river. And I am on a trail and I'm not exactly sure if it's the right one, but we are starting to go downhill, but I wanna show you what it looks like because this is not a well-used trail at all. I'm hoping it opens up a little bit or I might turn around because I'm just going right through the brush. We are now entering into one of Pennsylvania's infamous rhododendron tunnels and it is very dark in here. I always wonder, is there gonna be a bear or some animal hiding out in here? He could be a few feet away from you and you'd never see him. Guys, I gotta tell you, this trail is really sketchy. 
I I got lost multiple times and there were blazes blue blazes infrequent ones but they existed to a certain point and if I had not read an article online about a guy who had done this trail years ago and mentioning a few landmarks like a rock field and that spring I probably would have turned around I know we're getting close to the river I can hear it but I would not recommend this trail if you can call it a trail to anyone who's not very experienced and very confident in knowing what they're doing Wow, it's nice to be walking on a level surface again. That trail was no joke. And it's marked at the bottom with a little carn of stones. So we'll be re returning that way and I'm really not looking forward to it. down by the river now I saw that eagle or it maybe it may have been another one a second time much closer this time I just didn't have the camera ready he must be this must be his territory his hunting ground this water is beautiful it's crystal clear This is a beautiful spot here where I believe this is where Stony Creek enters into the Lehigh River. We are now continuing up the trail following Stony Creek. And it's your classic Pennsylvania deep ravine of hemlock and rhododendron, rocks, uh, cascading waterfalls, rock formations, and check this, what is this? Oh, check this out. What is this? Whoa. Dude, look at this. Underneath this set of cliffs and we have this stone structure. It looks like a, a crypt. It looks like a, it's kind of scary looking. Wow. This looks like the type of place where you would find the legendary trail monster, Jason Myers. If you followed my adventures in New York, you know who I'm talking about. I'm going to have to do some research when I get home to find out what this place is exactly. Quite a surprising find. And that's why I like to say Let's go for an adventure, because you never know what you might find. Just a short distance up from that building we just saw, check out this beautiful waterfall. This must be Stony Creek Falls.
it's not every day guys you get to sit under literally sit under a waterfall uh, let alone one I never knew even existed until just a, just a, a day ago uh, absolutely amazing this is why I hike this is why I explore Well, today was an interesting hike, guys. It had its, had its ups and its downs. Uh, we got here a little bit, about a week past the peak of fall, maybe 10 days, and uh, that was bad timing by me. And the skies are overcast, and this uh, film won't come out as perfectly as I would like it. But we also saw some really cool stuff. I mean, an overlook, a waterfall, uh, very interesting old structure built into the side of the mountain uh, we're on the railroad tracks here we got down by the river so no matter what it's always an adventure and it's always fun and uh, I'm glad you came along with me today and um, what can I say until next time I'll see you on the trail Gator out <laughs>